I've been using the iPhone 14 Pro as my daily phone for the last six months, and spoiler alert, it's been great. In my first review, I talked about this phone in flying colors, but are my opinions still the same six months later? Let's find out. So, getting started with design, let's talk about the Dynamic Island. When the phone was released, it was a massive talking point and just a really cool feature. But, six months later, it's no longer exciting and just feels like part of the phone. And that's not to say I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's there. I just feel that six months later, I expected more apps to take advantage of it. Nevertheless, it's still far better than the notch and at least had some sort of functionality. I have had a few problems with it bugging out, but it's no big deal. And a quick restart will fix all of your problems. All in all, I would say it was a great approach from Apple, as it allows for more screen real estate and as I mentioned, functionality. So, as for the design itself, it's gorgeous. And after six months, it looks as good as new. I can't find a single scratch anywhere on this phone. <laughs> Trust me, I tried. I went for the space black color, and I'm glad I did. Six months later, my eyes still water when I look at it. I truly believe the iPhone 14 Pro is the most beautifully designed phone out there at the moment. Another thing that is probably the most beautifully designed out there is this phone's display. You get 120Hz Pro Motion, which makes scrolling around the phone super smooth. I honestly can't believe how choppy and horrible my old iPhone 13 display feels after coming from the iPhone 14 Pro. The overall colors on this display, in my opinion, separated from the rest. It's sharp, color accurate, and not to mention the brightest display you're gonna find on a mobile device. Being able to reach a peak brightness of 2000 nits, which is just great when you're sitting outside. One thing that drives me crazy is the phone will dim when it gets hot. Hot! Damn hot! Real hot! Hot in this is my shorts, I can cook things in it. Little crotch pot cook. For example, I'll be sitting outside in the bright sun, and mind you, the one place where I actually need this phone's display to be bright, and the screen will just dim due to overheating. Frustrating, I know. By the way, let us know in the comments below if you're having a similar issue. The display can also refresh at a rate as low as 1Hz, which helps to save battery and also makes the always-on display possible. Love it or hate it, the always-on display on the iPhone 14 Pro is certainly unique. Unlike most Android phones, Apple's always on display keeps the wallpaper showing at all times, which personally, I quite like. Believe it or not, a lot of people did not share the same opinion as me and thought it was too bright and drained their battery, which led to them simply turning it off. Thankfully, Apple came in clutch, allowing the always on display to be customized, giving you the option to turn off the show wallpaper function. I have personally just left mine showing the wallpaper as I think it looks unique, but at least now everyone can be happy. As a YouTuber who films all of his content on the iPhone 14 Pro, including this A-Roll by the way, when upgrading to this phone, I was probably most excited about the new Pro camera system. And I'm not gonna lie, the camera certainly does not disappoint. Coming from my iPhone 13, videos are so much clearer, especially in low light situations. And the 48 megapixel camera really makes my thumbnails look more professional. There is also a 2X mode, which crops in on the 48 megapixel sensor. Personally, I hardly use this option, but it's a lot clearer than the 3X sensor, so if you're not zooming in, it's a great option. As for action mode, I was excited for this one when I first got my phone. And don't get me wrong, it's really cool and it works great. But it's honestly become nothing more than a gimmick to me. Another new feature to the iPhone 14 Pro was 4K cinematic mode. When I first heard about this feature, I was super excited as I thought I would use it to shoot all of my A-Roll. But unfortunately, six months later, it's become nothing more than a gimmick to me. Over six months later, and this is still probably one of the best smartphone cameras on the market. And for the average person, likely more than you will ever need. The A16 chip fan on the iPhone 14 Pro is certainly no joke, but neither was the A15 and the A14 before that. Honestly, what I'm trying to say is you're probably not gonna notice much of a performance difference between the latest iPhone and the iPhones that came before that. Recording videos, watching content, playing games, you name it, this phone will be able to handle it just fine. Not only does this phone run like a champ today, going forward two, three, or even five years, I strongly believe this phone is gonna run like it did on day one. So after this phone was released, least, one of the biggest talking points was probably battery life, or lack of it. And when I first got this phone, I can confirm it wasn't great compared to my iPhone 13. Yeah, sure, it would get me through today, but I'm not a heavy user, so that wasn't something to write home about. This led to people turning off the always on display and scouring the internet for answers. Six months later, my battery health is still at 100%, and this phone easily gets me through a day with 50% remaining. Thankfully, Apple fixed the battery issues through a host of software updates. And now, the battery is great, but it is still slightly worse than the iPhone 13. And that goes for the whole phone. It really is great. 
If you're looking to buy this phone, I would not hold back. If you can't hold off though, the iPhone 15 Pro is expected to be released in roughly five months and will come with a whole host of upgrades, such as a refresh design, improved camera system, and a potential iPhone 15 Ultra being offered. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. And I would be interested in hearing what phone you use. Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button. And if you do want to see more tech reviews just like this one, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video video.